What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with that real boxing thing. You dig? We chilling with the boxing clinic. You dig? And we we back speaking on some um, interesting news that just dropped. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, man, to the article. You know how I do, so y'all know it's 100 percent real. Um, you know the IBF have changed their stance now. They have waived their mandatory second day weigh in, and um, it's no longer. And it's it's no coincidence, man. That uh, Canelo elected to fight for that fight for that belt, and now they changing that rule. And I'm gonna get into it. The article is about Stevie Kim, who I think is a bitch motherfucker. But when it comes to writing articles, he's straight. You know, he I, I don't fuck with his bias ass. You know, he's he he's paid under the table by somebody to be biased as fuck towards certain fighters. But I'm not gonna get into that right now. But good article by Bitch Boy. But you know, uh, you know. It points to the simple fact that Danny Jacobs, you know, they, they, they think that Danny Jacobs was the reason this rule was enforced because Danny Jacobs didn't elect to fight for tri- fight for Triple G's IBF belt because he didn't, didn't want to do the same day weigh in and came in reportedly um, somewhere around 180-ish. But that's not the real reason why, man. Real reason why this rule has been enforced is because Canelo is electing to fight for this belt. You know, that's the number one thing. And you and we talked about it. We talked. I did about two videos on it. That how could, how was Canelo um, going to um, perform without that weight advantage? We thought that the weight advantage could help him absorb some of Triple G power. And I'm like him being 170 the day of, and then maybe getting five more pounds on five more pounds throughout the day. I thought that he should come in about 180 like Jacobs did with Triple G to get that strength advantage. And then I kind of kind of tipped my opinion a little bit towards Triple G a little bit more. I was like, shit, if Triple G, you know, um, you know, if Triple G is about the same size as Canelo, Canelo ain't, don't have that weight advantage, I think Triple G might can knock him out. But now the IBF has definitely changed that. Canelo already knew that when he elected to fight for the belt. He probably threatened not to fight for their belt, and they probably changed the rule. Or they changed the rule to accommodate him. And they said they still want fighters to do the second day weigh in. They encourage them to do it, but ain't nobody gonna do it if they don't have to do it. Come on, nobody gonna waste their time if it's not a mandatory, you know. Um, so at the end of the day, it's the Canelo rule in my opinion, and um, you know that's that's funny. They changed their principles, you know, for money, because when Danny Jacobs didn't elect to fight for that belt, that's three percent they lost to his purse. At least three percent. That's what they usually do. They dropped the percentage down. He's thanks to the body belt. The more money the fighter man like Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, Canelo, they usually don't pay the full three percent. Guys that's making millions and millions of dollars consistently, they be like, okay, one percent, two percent, because that percentage is still the same money they're getting from a guy like Terence Crawford, like Brandon Rios when he was winning belts and shit like that, won a belt, you know, when they were getting good purses, but not extraordinary purses, you know what I'm saying? But it's funny, man, in everyday life, guys change their principle for money. People change their principle for money for sure. You know, that's 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 a fact. You know, people I never do that. And somebody put the right amount of cash for in front of somebody, they're going to do it. And this is basically the same situation. That money, if they losing, they say, oh, fuck that, man. We're going we gonna to get this money back. Especially with Canelo Alvarez kind of being like a free agent amongst the sanction bell bodies. Even though we now know that he's working very closely with um, the WBO. You know, they said he could have a number mandatory spot if he wanted it versus Billy Joe Saunders. If he didn't want to fight Golovkin. So he had options. It's just that Mayweather McGregor made Oscar want to push for that fight now and try to spill the spotlight. So, um, you know, now the IBF is trying to get in good with Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, they see the money train coming. And um, I can't doubt them, though, you know. Um, I think this is going to make their belt more popular. I thought that people didn't want to fight Earl Spence because of the because of the IBF, because of the second day weigh-in. And I just personally kept that to myself. I usually talk shit like that with people that DM me, man, you know, you could uh, find me at the, the boxing clinic or if you know my personal Facebook, man, I DM, video chat, you know, outside, more than boxing, but usually boxing, man. So I think people ain't got excuse for Harold Smith no more as well, but uh, we gone.